A 27-year-old nurse walks into the emergency room. She's pale, her steps heavy, eyes shadowed with fatigue, exhausted, dizzy, slight nausea. She's been pushing through back-to-back -back night shifts, barely catching a break. Vital signs? Okay-ish. Blood pressure 100 over 70, heart rate 98, no fever. Nothing jumps out as immediately dangerous, but something feels off. She shrugs and says, I think I'm just tired from night shifts. It sounds reasonable, after all, nurses are used to exhaustion, but her fatigue seems deeper, more profound, so we run routine labs just to be safe. Sometimes it's the simple things that reveal the most. And sodium comes back, 116, critically low, but she's talking, alert. So we wait, watching her closely. 45 minutes later, she seizes. Then she codes. The room erupts into chaos as the team rushes to her side, and no one saw it coming. She looked stable until she wasn't. We dig into her story, searching for clues we might have missed. She hadn't eaten real food in two days. No solid meals, just snacks here and there. Just water, coffee, more water, too much water, too little salt, that's all it took. Her body was running on empty. Her brain cells started swelling. Silent cerebral edema. She didn't need sleep. She needed sodium. Medical fact number six. Hyponatremia less than 120 can kill, even if they look fine. Fatigue, nausea, confusion, these are warning signs you can't ignore. Think sodium. Always check electrolytes in unexplained fatigue or altered mental status. Watch for excess fluids, poor diet. Stress, SSRIs, or diuretics. All can tip the balance. Treat with 3% hypertonic saline carefully under close monitoring, but never overcorrect fast or you risk brain damage. Slow and steady is the rule. She wasn't tired, her brain was drowning. Hyponatremia is a silent killer. For the full video on this topic, check out our channel. And don't forget to subscribe for more real medical stories.